listen, listen to the voice of God, the voice of life, the voice of history, and all of the circumstances around you. And listen until you hear deep within you that did not originate with you. Uh, and bring all of that anchored in the biblical narrative. Sometimes it means spending a whole night in prayer and still waking up empty. Sometimes it means going to the pulpit in fear and trembling because you feel so unprepared, not because you have not struggled, but it seems that the message is not quite there. And that's also an opportunity to hear something beyond yourself that's relevant to the moment where you stand, uh, but it should never be an excuse uh, where you say, well, I don't have anything this week, so I, I know the Lord will give me something. Uh, no, that's, that's dangerous and dishonest. Uh, to speak to 10 people or to 10,000 unprepared, uh, my mentor said, is as it, it, it makes you a thief because you are robbing people of their time and their circumstance and abusing them in that moment. And you are doing what a bank robber does. So we should not be guilty of that kind of uh, practice. I believe that if we ex open ourselves to the, to the Holy Spirit, and work as hard as we can to be prepared that now and then something happens and a word comes, not of ourselves, and somehow the listener knows when the speaker, the preacher, has been uh, translated, shall I say, uh, moved beyond herself or himself, and they connect with it. Uh, I can't quite explain it. Uh, and at my age, you come to the pulpit with an awareness of your mortality in a special way that this, this might be the last time. That could happen at 20, of course, but there is a, an intense awareness the longer we live. Uh, therefore, uh, that moment is so important to say what needs to be said. And I think all of this is wrapped up in the mystery and the joy and the challenge of preaching.